Hey everyone, it is that time again um, for the Planners Anonymous sub box unboxing. So as always, we are going to go through each item individually. So let's go ahead and get started. For this month's theme, it is called In Bloom. And you can see that down here. So it is very uh, floral pretty colors and just from what I can see here it looks like it's a lot of very cool colors so even though you've got those hints of pinks and a little bit of green they are on the cooler side which is really nice I do like that a lot so for this month um, they did change things up a little bit so um, Let's just go ahead and go through everything individually. So here we have got our set of die cuts. So we've got this beautiful little girl here holding a bouquet of flowers. She's got a really pretty striped dress on, which is super cute. Um, I love this one with the little floral kimono, little flats, that's cute as well. You are so loved. Beautiful little bouquet and a purple vase. Ooh, I like this banner. I really like this banner a lot. I think I may use this in my bullet journal, actually. And you've got one of those little scooters with a bouquet of flowers. And then a bag with some flowers. I like the little bow detail there. That's a nice touch. And you've got a floral spray. Pretty little butterflies. This one's cute. Little shoe with some flowers. And then it looks like we've got some smaller die cuts. These cute little bows. So you've got one that's just watercolor purple, pink plaid, and then this one that's got kind of a dot but it's like a floral dot pattern to it. And then here you've got a bicycle with some flowers spraying off in the wind. Super cute. So this is all of your die cuts. And then back here you've got this for your card. So like I've always said in every video, you can just clip that off and use this as journaling card, which is really handy so we'll gather all these up I apologize for how I sound I'm trying to get over being like sick uh, it's like a random summer cold which is just very odd for me but anyway um, so here is your introduction to your box for the month it's a large die cut and then always a beautiful little note on the back which is really nice uh, so here we've got our journaling cards with quotes so you've got beauty blooms from within beautiful butterfly grow free wild flower dream plan bloom to your garden of dreams you will grow beautifully be the flower in a field of grass so you get all of these six journaling cards with quotes and then a little back to your package and then our sticker sheets So we've got, I think, four 
There have pretty consistently been four sticker sheets the last few kits I've gotten. I really like that they're on the bigger paper. They used to be about credit card size and you would get six sheets. So they've changed that up some, which I really like. I love this little checklist here. That's really cute. So you've got some uh, repetition from the die cuts, which I really think is cute. Works really well, cohesive to the whole thing. This one is deco. And then I'm sure if you've got an Erin Condren planner, I think there's like a little quote box at the top. That would go really pretty in there and you can actually write or just stick another sticker in it. So that one's really cute. Here you've got your 3D TN sticker and then all of your days of the week, which I love date covers. And then here you've got the she's here. So um, this one's going to be a kind of a teaser to the next box. So the next box is going to be holiday home. Not really sure what that entails exactly, but check out that. Isn't that pretty? Got that pretty little tin right there with the bow on it and others. These coffee stickers look fairly new. Um, I've been noticing that they've been adding the she's here from whenever your sub box comes in and I love all of the happy mail boxes that you get. So four sticker sheets. Now the one thing that is different this month is you actually get foiled washi. I was super excited whenever she announced that they were going to be doing the foiled washi this month and these are gorgeous. So as always, you get a skinny set and then the thicker washi and what I like to call the standard washi. So they're all gold foil. Just beautiful watercolor flowers and then you've got this stripe back here that is in a pretty dusty mauve color I would say. So that's very pretty and you get quite a bit per roll which I think is really nice. Your thicker washi is just like sprays of flowers against a white background. I imagine that on a bullet journal, this uh, background area would probably blend right in with your paper, which I think is just great. I love using this kind of washi for my bullet journal. And then your skinny washi here, I love this one. This one is so cute. So you've got beautiful bows against a lavender background and I'm not sure if that part right there is part of the washi or if it's just no it's just peeking out from behind so it it's not like you've got a peach washi underneath there that's just the gold foil that's kind of peeking out from behind so the transparency on this one is pretty apparent which is completely fine just depends on personal preference. Me, I don't really have a preference. I like washi any way you go. If it's really opaque or really transparent, it does not bother me whatsoever. But that's just something to note, just in case, because I know not everybody has the same preference. Here we've got our little tub of sequins. So you've got some butterflies. You've got all of the colors that will match flowers. Just all kinds of different sizes and shapes and colors of sequins that match the box. The pen is gorgeous. So the pen has that beautiful kind of a dusty mauve look to it and it's pearlescent finish. Gold hardware. You've got Planners Anonymous stamped on there and then you've got all of the little jewels in the different colors that match with the box. And then here we've got our tabs. They're very good about adding tabs in every box. So you can, you could completely redo a traveler's notebook every month if you chose to do so. So there's the little card back there. You've got two sets. Are, are they all, oh, they're all, are they all different colors? Okay, so we've got two greens, two purples, a blue, and a rose kind of a color, and they're all kind of that ombre look. 
So those are really nice. And those go with the sticker sheet where you can add your tabs on there and then put a label on them, which is really nice. And then here we have got our stamps. Uh, you know what? This box actually did not come with an ink, which is different. So I don't know if that is a thing now or if my box just didn't have an ink with it. Um, but normally you do get an ink that is in like a coordinating color with your stamps, which is fine because I've got plenty of ink, but. I wonder if that's something that they are changing. So these are your stamps. Really the only thing that you need to be able to use these is just an acrylic block and some ink. So I love that they added the pretty little girl with the striped dress and then I like this one and the banner. The banner is awesome. I can definitely see myself using that one quite a bit. And the bows are just really pretty. So beautiful stamp set and then all of the papers oh there's something else different in here too oh my gosh you get vellum this time okay all right I'm super excited about this I did not know about that part okay so we'll go through the papers so on one side you've got the floral watercolor pattern and then on the other side it is the plaid you get two sets of each pattern front and back so there's those Ooh, this bow one's gorgeous so you've got watercolor bows and then this beautiful ombre pink to purple and then this gorgeous butterfly I love that one butterfly and then the a, like a smaller floral pattern and I knew about the foiled washi I did not know about the foiled vellum so this is awesome so I have never seen them add this to their boxes but indeed we have vellum Oh, no, it's not vellum. Okay, one is vellum, one is acetate. So we've got a foiled acetate that's got the floral pattern to it. And it looks like it could be either color. So you looks like you've got silver on one side, which I think is really pretty. Or you can flip it over, and it is gold. That's a really, really nice touch. And then this floral with striped vellum and I imagine that this probably goes with their TN um, they did release some travelers notebooks that coordinate with this kit so I think this matches kind of like how the travelers notebook looks I did not pick that up but that is really cool okay so we have now added acetate and vellum to these kits, which is really nice. I love vellum and acetate. Um, so yeah, I will totally take these over the ink any day of the week. So that is everything that you get in this month's box. That is really, really awesome. I am super, super excited about this one. So that's just kind of an overview of everything that you get in the box. This one is really, really beautiful. I have been very pleasantly surprised at every box. Um, that I love that they use the watercolor elements to everything. I think it's beautiful. I love watercolor designs. And I just love everything that you get. I really, really feel like you get your money's worth 
out of this box, if you bought all of these items individually, you would probably pay a lot more than what you do for this box. And everything is cohesive, it matches beautifully. So if you are one of those types of people that loves to have a different setup every month, this would be a really good option for you because I find that the quality of the items is really good. Um, I really like how the papers are. The papers are really nice. They're thick. So I don't feel like they would tear up really easily. The acetate is really good thickness, really good quality. The vellum, it also feels really nice quality. The stamps are great. Um, I've had really good luck with their stamps. They stick well, they take ink well. Um, there's no blotchiness, there's no, um, the lines are crisp and everything. I love using their stamps. The die cuts are really nice. They're made out of cardstock. So, yeah, and the pins write really well. I've uh, had enough experience with these boxes and using these products that, you know, it, I've found them to be very, very consistent. So, yeah. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Do you think this is a beautiful box? What do you not like about it? What would uh, what would you have changed? Anything like that? Leave them down below and I'd love to hear from you. If you want to see future videos, please hit subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye everybody.